We're sitting in a brand new 100,000 square foot, uh, 600 student CTE building. Uh, this new facility will help educate uh, West Ashley students, uh, Johns Island uh, students, uh, and also Hollywood Ravenel. We are really excited uh, to offer a first rate, uh, state of the art uh, facility to offer uh, a 21st century curriculum uh, for the jobs of the future. We want to prepare our students to go directly into the workforce or to matriculate to uh, institutes of higher learning to really find a, a passion and excitement for a field of study uh, that they're going to go into to be their future. We want them to make a livable wage and be able to be productive members of society and give back to their community. So that's kind of the mission that we have here. We have 11 different fields that we are specializing in. We have uh, welding, uh, mechatronics, uh, we have automotive technologies, uh, health science, sports medicine, uh, biomedical engineering, uh, we have uh, audiovisual technologies, uh, we have uh, computer science uh, with networking and cybersecurity and computer service and repair. Uh, we also offer uh, Project Lead the Way engineering, uh, civil and aerospace. So we're really excited uh, for the opportunities that we have for the students to offer the, the, the families of all three of our constituent districts, districts uh, 9, 10, and 23. I do need to uh, reiterate uh, Cummings uh, Management Group and uh, Robert Bryant and Richard Coppola have done a great job of giving us a first class facility uh, here on the West Ashley High Campus. Starting out, uh, when we started this project, uh, designing uh, what, what we're going to do, what the needs were, we quickly realized uh, that we needed to increase the scope. And while the students were out of the school, we took uh, full advantage of that and try to cram in as much as we can do to really give uh, these students uh, a, a real renovation of their facility. Uh, part of the renovation is adding a, a, a true security vestibule. Something about uh, Mitchell Elementary is very unique. The, the front office is on the second floor. So what we were able to do is to create a, a new vestibule, a new front office, uh, replacing a, cl uh, a classroom. And what that allowed us to do is to provide a true ADA visitor uh, elevator outside. That work is still ongoing, but that will provide uh, a, a more secure entry for our uh, ADA and wheelchair uh, visitors to access uh, the school itself. Um, we also uh, had a new HVAC system. Uh, the air quality units were replaced. Uh, we have a new roof on, on top of our school here. We are able to go out and throw out uh, paint, uh, add new paint, uh, flooring throughout the hallways and classrooms, um, as well as uh, ceiling tile throughout the, the, the classrooms. Um, another big uh, renovation, a much needed renovation, is the new fire suppression system in this, in this facility. So we're really excited uh, to welcome back the Mitchell students, and it's been a great project. I do have to give thanks to the design team, uh, Red Iron Architects, and our general contractors, Brantley Construction. Um, those two firms have really come together to really give a, you know, uh, a, a great facility, a great job uh, for these students. Uh, and it couldn't be managed without our construction management team, Cummings. Uh, the, group, uh, the whole group out there has been uh, such an asset to us and really uh, drove this project to where we're at today. I think this is a great example of what can be done uh, in an older school. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of times we're told, hey, we need to have a new building. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you, when you take a look around this facility, uh, they do have indeed a new building with a renovation project. This is one of our oldest uh, school sites in the district. Uh, Julian Mitchell Elementary School opened in 1909. Um, it represents um, what we can do with an existing facility. First and foremost, we're so thankful to be back home here downtown at Mitchell. Uh, we cannot wait to see the looks on our scholars' faces as they come into the new building and they see the bright colors and the new furniture as they walk through the doors. Uh, as an acceleration school, we are thankful and blessed to have new furniture and new spaces that allow for collaboration among our students. We have behind me, we have um, new furniture that will allow for some makerspace projects and some STEM activities. 
Throughout the building, you will see furniture that allows for collaboration, a new science project lab where we embed, we are a math and science school, so we have our science lab where we can integrate the science throughout the day for our, the curriculum for our students. We also have a new computer lab facility, as well as throughout the building, you will see this, the opportunities for engagement for our scholars with the new facilities. So once again, um, the first day of school will be truly magical for our students.